All of a sudden you're like, ah, ah, it's always getting so cold. What's up, P Nation? We are in Varna, Bulgaria, and today we are going to attempt, I use the word attempt because it is gonna be so cold, to swim in the Black Sea today. <laughs> we have no idea what the beach is gonna be like. Is it gonna be rocky? Is it gonna be sandy? Will it be pleasant? Will it not be pleasant? We're gonna find out today. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty excited for it. So we're on our way to the beach now, heading from our communist, apparently. We are staying in a communist building, mm -hmm. block number 31. Yep. So we're going through the buildings to get there. Okay, we have made it to the waterfront park, which was set aside by the government a long time ago to be able to have access for the public to be able to go to the beach and just like chill out in this park. So there's the beach, but... It seems that there's like an insurmountable slope, like a drop off, a cliff practically, even though it feels pretty close. Cannot get to the beach uh, anytime so quickly. It took like yeah. 10 minutes to walk down here, <laughs> and then it's gonna take 30 minutes to walk all the way around <laughs> to where it's right in front of us. Yeah. I'm just really confused because I'm used to these cliffs like in California, and on the East Coast they have like steps. Like you pull up on the road and then you walk down steps to the beach, the and that's just like not here. Yeah. Here's the problem. As you can see, we're here. We just want to go on the other side of this little itty bitty cliff but we have to walk all the way around to even go on this side. There isn't a way to do it this way. Why don't I just make some steps? I'm gonna walk through this massive tree to see if there's like a back way to scale down this mountain. Okay, so the trail didn't work because it got really sketchy really fast and it smelled like pee. So I saw a girl come out of this trail. There's like a main road and there's this like sketchy trail and her hair was wet. So I think that's a good sign. Guys, the problems with being tall are that like 10 people can go in front of you and walk on this trail, but you are always the one that gets hit with the spider web because you are a foot taller than everyone else. Just, just so you should know. It's going down! to the Black Sea, I can only get in if I go right now, so I'm gonna try to. Just so you know, this water is freezing cold. It's cool. It's not as cold as the Aegean Sea, which I don't know how, because this is more, more north, and it has, I don't know, more northness to it. Okay, so you're probably wondering like why is the Black Sea like look so cut off? Well, this is the port of Varna that has like a river coming out of it And then this is like we're on the edge of the Black Sea. So if I look straight that way That's really the Black Sea and then that's south The results are in Varna has beautiful beaches. The sand is wonderful. I think it's actually better than every beach we've ever been in <laughs> Greece. I'm just saying that. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> bold statement. Um, but the sand is very soft. It's not rocky, is basically what you're saying, right? Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's yeah. also really nice. Yeah. But now we are heading back up the cliff to have some lunch. To save some money, we have gone to the grocery store and gotten everything we need to make salads. So we're about to have another chef so in a moment. Leah is going to teach you how to make her <laughs> famous Sedona salad, combining barbecue and ranch and avocado and so many don't things. Don't spoil it, don't spoil oh, it. So healthy. <laughs> yeah. But because right. we're not really doing a lot of things today, so you have to.
I was gonna swing on these swings. I've been looking at them for like three weeks now, but they're all completely destroyed. I don't think my bike fit in there. It's like very eerie. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is where the ghost lives. If we walked by here and these were just like swinging by themselves, I'd be like, we have to leave. And I wouldn't think twice. <laughs> for an apartment tour. This is the biggest apartment we've ever been in. It has one, two, three, five rooms, including a hallway. And it is the cheapest place we've ever been. Cheaper than any place we've ever stayed in Southeast Asia, which is saying something. But it's also very ni nice and cute. So, bathroom. Nice, nothing special, very quaint. We are so used to that. Nice. The bedroom, single bed, it's like camp. Adorable little place. Nice communist looking view. And a whole living room. An entire living room. The kitchen. It has a table and chairs and everything we could ever need. Okay, so we are making a Sedona salad. It is quite simple, although there's a lot of ingredients and it takes a long time to chop. So yesterday we made some chicken. It's just chicken and cumin and cilantro and chili powder. Chicken, canned corn, nothing fancy. We have rough chopped tomatoes, peppers, onion, and lime. Tons of onion. Love it. Love it. Freshly grated cheddar cheese. And what makes it so good is that it's a combination of barbecue and ranch. Now we don't have ranch. We looked. Bulgaria doesn't have ranch. But we found something quite similar and it works pretty well. And there you go. Sedona salad. I love that we've done this twice now and both times we made a salad. It makes people think we're pretty healthy, but we're not. Not that I'm like Rachel Ray or Ina Garten or anything, but the salad is amazing. It has so many different textures and flavors, the cheese, the tomatoes, and the like sweetness of the barbecue. It's like American heaven. Whew, today was amazing. That salad was so good. Amazing. I feel so refreshed now. I had no <laughs> idea we'd actually jump in the black sea today. I thought yeah. it was gonna be super grimy and even colder than it was. Right. Well, also Zach is like a really big baby when it comes to cold water and we knew it was gonna be freezing because it's like the beginning of summertime. So I'm really proud of you that you just like went for it <laughs> and just dove right in. Well, I, I made my mind up. That's why I was like, I can't tell you guys about how this beach is because I have to jump in now or else yeah. it's not happening because I was a little bit, you know, on the warmer side. But it was really nice actually. <laughs> like the water was really clear. It yeah. wasn't black. Yeah. I didn't see any fish. So maybe it's not as like nature-y. Yeah. As I thought it would be. But yeah, I didn't see any fish. And so far, Varna has been like super, super nice. I had no idea the coast of Bulgaria was going to be so good. I was listening yeah. to a podcast a couple months ago and they were like, go to Varna. That's like the best part of Bulgaria. Hipsters are going. <laughs> so we're definitely really excited to check out more of the city. But so mm -hmm. far, it's been so nice. And dumping in the Bla jumping in the Black Sea was awesome. And finishing it off with a delicious salad. <laughs> Call me Rachel Ray. Oh my gosh. Do as you please. Oh my gosh. Tell us <laughs> if you kidding. like that. If you don't, like, we need to know because we're going to make a lot more videos. We have yeah. a lot more recipes that we use on and the road. we might not make a salad the third time. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll you know, see. We'll switch it up on you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Does the Black Sea have a tide? Can hmm. anyone tell us? Fresh. Fresh. But, like, some, like, nasty muddy thing that like people are like oh, I'm going to the beach but it's like it's the only beach around but it's actually really nice what Mike Tyson I'm so confused not that I'm Rachel Rainer 